I have been eating durians for breakfast, lunch and dinner the last few weeks. Most Malaysian durians are exported to Australia where there is a substantial Southeast Asian community and to China. The durians sold in China go for 300 to 1000 ringgit or US 75 to US 250 dollars each. That is the main reason the durian shops in Malaysia are almost bare without fruit and many have closed down as a result. Where do I get my durians you wonder? My mum planted a durian seed many years ago and it has just begun bearing fruit. There are still some more fruits left on the tree as you can see. I don't know what variety of durian she planted but the fruit is really delicious and creamy. They are the best durians you can get in PJ or even in the Klang Valley today. Every day some durians will fall from the tree and we collect them. Many will not be cracked open and will be sealed. This prevents insects and ants from entering them and enjoying their sweet flesh. At home we wait for them to crack open by themselves before we split them open and remove the fleshy seeds. Once they are cracked open, a simple tool to pry the fruit open is sufficient. Here I am using a knife, but anything that can act like a wedge will do. You will notice that green durians turn brownish once they are cracked. The fruit then begins fermenting and will lose its sweetness. If you see brown colored fruits in the shops, chances are that it has begun fermenting and lost a lot of its sweetness. I had six durians to open today. Basically pressing down on either side of the fruit with the palm of my hands would split open the segments and reveal the fleshy seeds inside. The seeds are then scooped up into a tupperware to be refrigerated later. Did you notice that I'm not using any gloves to protect my hands from the durian thorns? Once the durian has split, you do not need protective gear if you are careful. Did you notice that that segment had no seeds? This is common when you have odd shaped fruits. Many of the smaller segments would have no fleshy seeds. Let me show you the Musang King durian which I bought from the roadside stalls in Petaling Jaya a few years ago. I used the Musang King flesh to make durian cheesecakes. Oh my god, those cheesecakes were really delicious but very expensive because they had just begun to export the Musang King durians. Today, it's very difficult to find Musang King durians for sale in Malaysia. If you do find them, they are the small fruits that have no export value. So this time I want to make cheesecake. Durian cheesecake. No, no one do. No one do. I think because too expensive. <laughs> ah. So the cheesecake durian flavored lang. But I think no one do. No. Durian kini kasi kung bago. Red, nice, yellow, yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Same to me. Really beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> the flesh of the fruits from my mum's garden varies from beige to light yellow. Where else, if you look at the Musang King durian flesh, the flesh is darker shade of yellow or even orangish in color. I love my own homemade durian cheesecakes. They are the best durian cheesecakes in the Klang Valley. Now I must let you know a little secret of mine. Please don't tell anyone else and make it your secret too. The secret is that to make the durian fruit more delicious, refrigerate it overnight or until it gets cold and the texture of the flesh is like thick cream. It is a lot more delicious 
when it is cold. That is why I was transferring the fruit into a Tupperware. You will notice that ants will get into the cracked durian fruits. When you look carefully, you will notice that the ants are actually dead. Is there a chemical produced by the durian fruit that kills ants? I wonder. A quick wash under the tap will wash away all the dead ants. But don't wash longer than 2 to 3 seconds or else, as you can see in the video, the whitish liquid is the flesh dissolved in the water and getting washed away. The durian tree will fruit once or twice a year. My mum's durian tree sometimes fruits once a year and during other years it will fruit twice a year. In the early fruiting days, the tree would shed its leaves just before flowering. By early April or August, they will form buds and the flowers will bloom. Here are the flowers. By May or September, the tiny fruits will be seen and they will become full-grown fruits by July or November. Very often in the early part of the fruiting season, many tiny fruits will drop off just like the one which is the size of a teaspoon. What is up there? My dog is chasing a squirrel or some stray cat that has fallen in love with the durians. <laughs> Very funny. This looks like the last durian for the season of November 2021. The next fruiting season would probably begin in April 2022. Now you know why I refrigerate cold durians delicious. The durians before eating them. I just don't understand why some people think they are horrid and smelly fruits. They have a wonderful aroma and are delicious. I suspect that this is a Thai durian variety that my mom planted and not a Malaysian variety of durians. God's gift to the world. God's gift to the world. <laughs>